Here we have a Nintendo Switch with no power. The note said it had a bad USB-C port. But uh, yeah, it looks like we have a catastrophe here. Let's get some isopropyl on a Q-tip and see if we can clean this up a bit. That's a little better, but it still looks like a catastrophe. It looks like some kind of corrosion. Man, what a mess this is gonna be. We're gonna take all four resistors off, repair the missing traces and pads, and put four new resistors on there from a donor board. Yeah, and these tiny resistors, they are not hardly stuck on here at all anymore. Looks like the pads are corroded away underneath of them. We're going to go ahead and take all four of them off and clean the whole area up and fix it up. But yeah, you can tell how tiny those components are on the tip of my finger there. They're definitely microscopic. And we'll clean this area up with some isopropyl and a Q-tip. And see how bad the damage is from that catastrophe. Looks like we're missing two traces for sure. And we'll go ahead and remove that last cap off of there. That one was stuck down a little bit. And looks like we might be missing a pad there possibly. We're going to see what happens here with some solder. Gonna go ahead and scuff that area up there with our little tool here. And scuff this area up here. We need to get down to the bare copper so that we can solder some pad onto there to replace those two traces that got eaten away. And not quite good enough. We gotta, gotta go some more here. And that's looking a little bit better there, I think. Let's clean it up here and see what this looks like. Uh, not terrible. I'm going to go ahead and scrape a little bit more off this buddy here, though. And this guy here right next to him as well. And throw some flux on here. Yeah, so it looks like that one pad is going to maybe survive up there. try to stick this trace down here to the existing one and got it there we go all right We're going to go ahead and grab this, wiggle it off till it breaks. Yep, we're stuck down all the way just like we needed to be. Perfection. And wiggle, wiggle. It's almost off. Wiggle some more. There we go. Perfect. One down, one to go. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of solder mask over this and cure it. That way we don't have to worry about this one getting coming loose and falling off there while we're soldering the trace next to it. And there we go. That's looking pretty good for the solder mask. We're going to go ahead and put some UV light on here. Cure this guy up takes about 30 seconds to do that so we'll go ahead and speed this up here all right throw some flux on here so we can stick this other trace on and 
here we go. All right, there's where we're gonna solder it. Uh, it's all microscopic, tough to get it lined up on that little tiny spot, but we will get it here. And perfect, there we go, stuck down. We're going to see if we can bend this trace over here just a little bit until it touches the pad. Alrighty, just like that. Gonna go ahead and put a little solder mask on here and cure it. Alrighty. Looking good. UV light. All right, we're gonna put a little hot air on there to finish drying that up, make it look more opaque instead of so glossy. And we're gonna go ahead and cut this trace off right about there, like so. And we'll remove that guy. Don't need the end of that on there. Perfect. Uh, yep, just checking to make sure we got the right reading there. Everything's all connected and working like it should. Now we're going to solder these four resistors on here. We're going to use some hot air on this one here. Just about warm enough. Got to get back in focus there. There we go. Right on the spot. Let's grab us another one off the donor board here. Alrighty, over here. Gotta get it hot enough here. Yeah, we're just gonna stick it on the end over here instead. And there we go. There we go. Looks a little bit better there. Gonna go ahead and stick this next one on. Applying heat here. And there we go. Go ahead and get this last one on here. And looks like we're just about warm enough there. There we go. Right there on the spot. Alrighty. Clean this up a little bit with a Q-tip and some isopropyl. And it's going to be time to check out the USB-C port on here now. Looks like we got some burnt plastic. And let's see here. Oof. Those pins don't look like they're uh, secured very well. Let's take a poke at those and see what happens here. Ooh, moves, moves. 
Yep. None of these pins are solid at all. And more of that looking stuff there. But at least it's just on the pads for the port there. And we're going to be putting a new one on. So hopefully the damage will be minimal. Going to go ahead and heat this up here from the bottom and the top a little bit. Get this port warmed up and it'll just come right off for us. That's what it looks like after we got that port off. Whoever tried to put that port on uh, definitely applied too much heat. They've uh, scorched the board, which means that thing was super warm. Gonna go ahead and clean this area up with some solder braid. We'll apply some flux. Clean these pads off here. Apply some fresh solder and... Uh, We'll stick a new port on here. And looking good, looking good. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Alrighty. Wipe that off with some isopropyl and a Q-tip. Going to go ahead and apply some fresh solder here. There we go. Need a little more flux on here. That's better. There we go. Make sure we get solder on each one of the pads. Perfect. Stick this new port on here. We're gonna solder these ones. We already did the other underneath ones with the hot air gun. Solder each one of these little pins here, and then when we get done, we're going to check each one to make sure it's stuck down and solid. And need a little bit more solder. There we go. Looking good. Two left, one left. Right, we got a bridge here. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Right, we're going to grab some solder braid and get rid of this real quick here. Just like so. All set. Solid. Perfect. Stuck to the pads. Every one of them. Stuck to the pads. <laughs> 